Hey, Josh here. I'm here to tell you about the free forever eHab short-term planning tool. So the first thing you need to do when you've logged in, created your account is to set up a new site. So you just need to enter in a address. So you can use that, that search bar there, or you can enter a Latin long. And once you submit this, we'll then be building out a forecast data set for the next 15 days. The data that we get is from IBM, which is consistently ranked as one of the most accurate forecast providers out there. They take their data from NASA, from the Met Office, from lots of different places, and they pull it into what's called a symphony, which uses then artificial intelligence to fine tune and tweak that forecast information to be as appropriate and accurate for the location that you've provided as possible. Now, once your data is loaded in, there's a few different things that we give you. So first and foremost, we summarize the daily information for temperature, wind speed, and rainfall. We do it accumulated rainfall over the day, as well as the max rainfall that will be happening in an hour. Just below that, you'll see that there is hourly data as well. So from now for the next 24 hours. And if you just look below that, then you'll see that we give you high level 15 day forecast. So if I click on the subsequent days, I can actually select those days. And in this hourly box here and in this daily box up here, you'll see the data is changing. So if I want to go and see what, what the weather's going to be looking like 15 days out, I can get an hourly view of that. Now, what makes this slightly different than just your regular BBC weather app is that we have a risk matrix which sits behind this system which has standard construction activities so you'll notice painting has some yellow bars here yellow means that one of the thresholds for painting has been broken and so if i select on one of these days we can start to see that there the rain threshold the hourly rain threshold for painting has actually been broken and so the idea here is that we can really quickly highlight to you what are the best weather windows for you to undertake work and if you maybe need to move your work because there's going to be uh, weather that's going to impact it then we allow you using this green um, coloring to see which are the best days for you to do that there's a few more things i'll show you so on the bottom left there is settings and then thresholds in here are the standard risk thresholds that we've put in you can edit uh, these, if you would like, you can also export an Excel where you can then add more risk thresholds to this or change the names or, and edit them in, in a way that you see fit for your project. Just going back to the forecast tab, there's a printable view. So this will create a full view of the forecast information. You can still interact with it here if you want to. So you can select today and maybe you want to select painting. You can then print that as a PDF, which can be shared or can be printed off as an actual piece of paper. And just going back to the forecast screen, the last thing I'll show you is there's a little bell icon up there. So what that enables you to do is turn on daily site emails. So just before your daily standup, we'll send you an email share, saying what are the activities that could be delayed today? What might be a better day for you to do those activities? And then we might include some forecast information in that email as well. If you have any more questions, there'll be a link just below. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope you get lots of value from the tool.